Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special holiday issue of the Spinner Rack. I'm the co-host of the Spinner Rack, Junior Reese, also co-host of Comics Remix. Alongside my enthusiastic, yet looking at me like a dumb lost dog partner. Wow, what a dick. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. <laughs> and we're joined this week by special guests. Carry the camera guy from That's the one one. I love it. <laughs> Jonathan Pepperell of the former Pepperell's Point, what now host of <laughs> the, well, the co-host of The Lockup. And I am Tony Blando, other co-host of The Lockup for a podcast, All Things Wrestling. The new guy. Yeah. The, the, new guy. Guy. the new guy. The new guy. New guy number one. <clears throat> so since this is a Christmas special, we're going to talk about special Christmas memories. Because oh, nice. we kind of touched upon that on a previous issue of the Spinner Rack, you and I, but it was more of uh, just like specific toys that yeah. we had asked for and stuff we never got, those heart-wrenching memories. So let's relive them. Yeah. <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? Let's send them back for your listening amusement. Let's do it. Let's start around... Uh, We'll start with you, actually. We'll start with the new guy. New guy, the new guy, Pop the Cherry. uh, Yeah, um, Yeah, exactly. I I said the new guy. The new guy called him Vince. I didn't say his name at all. Yeah, did I I said yeah, the new guy Vince. I'm sorry. (laughs) We'll keep it at the new guy, and we'll keep it at simple. Yeah, totally. (laughs) You look like your brother. So uh, (laughs) Christmas, I usually. You're fucking still staring at me. (laughs) 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 The intro is done. Stop looking. Welcome to the podcast, folks. Yeah. 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 Do it. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, now that I'm getting stared down, um, <laughs> my Christmas experiences have always been pretty good, you know? Um, <laughs> I usually get what I want. I At least, yeah, usually get what I want. Uh, I was a bit of a spoiled brat, you know what I mean? So, uh, favorite thing I've ever gotten for Christmas, I'd say, is like, uh, I was really into Donkey Kong for a long time. Wow, and he admits it on lock. There you go. So uh, I got a Donkey Kong stuffed animal when I was like eight or nine. And I remember I went downstairs to open it when I was really, really young. And uh, I opened it and I saw this like skin color. I thought it was it because it was the only gift I had that was soft, you know. And I was up way earlier than I should have been. And I opened the wrapper and I see this like skin color. And I was like, oh man, this isn't it. I'm so sad. And I went back upstairs. You opened it ass first. I went upstairs and popped about it basically for like 10 minutes or whatever until I was supposed to get up with my brothers and we all went downstairs. And I opened it back up and of course that was like the hand skin color and I marked out because I thought it was just the coolest thing. So that's like my fondest Christmas memory. No, I don't want to shit on your Christmas memory. Yes, you do. That's what he does. Yeah, but I, I... only did, girls get like stuffed animals. Did you I'm want sorry. the stuffed animal, or did your parents like he no, likes Donkey Kong? I did. I liked I liked Donkey Kong, and I was going for. I just said anything Donkey Kong related. Okay, so you left it open. I don't right, like yeah. you fucking skimmed me, Santa. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> get, I thought it was the shit. So. Hey, you know you I still guess have that's, it. That's what matters. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. If it meant that much, you would so still have it. And it You'd really know. meant that much. You'd like know. when I opened it, I was freaking out. I just thought it was awesome. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. So it's pretty lame, but I'd rather, I didn't want to sit here and be like, yeah, you know, I get everything I want, that's my story. You you already started out with that, so it's it's okay. Hey, first impressions, man, man. (laughs) you're done, Brian, do not edit that. You you let with with a bad foot, these people (laughs) are like, man, that new wrestling guy's a real prick. (laughs) (laughs) But he's still better than Junior, so, you know. (laughs) I'm not the wrestling guy, so it's okay. (laughs) You know, he's just the comics remix resident (laughs) a-hole. As I said. None of you fuckers, besides <laughs> Gary, because this is his place, would be here without my crap. Literally. Anyhow. What would you say is your worst Christmas memory? My worst Christmas memory? Um, or did you block it out like some of us? No, I'm just I'm making him read. Really <laughs> well, I used to, when I was, of course, when I was younger, my college brother used to, he doesn't live with us anymore, but when he did, he um, was, of course, ridiculously taller than me ridiculously more fit than I was and he was very scary and uh, he was really into wrestling way before me and my brothers were so he woke up one morning the Christmas morning of course <laughs> I, I've seen this not going not any <laughs> well <laughs> and, we, and we woke up and we of course like last time woke up way earlier than we were supposed to he was up too 
because of us because we were so loud we woke him up. So he comes upstairs and individually starts, you know, taking us and just kind of tossing us around on the couches, beating the crap out of us. And that wakes up my parents and they wake up and come downstairs and yell at everybody for being up too early. <laughs> Merry and then Christmas! We, we didn't get to open our stuff for like an extra few hours. So your family stuff. celebrated, you go to sleep on Christmas Eve and you don't get your shit till Christmas morning. Right. Okay. So there's always some, like some families believe, like my girl's family, she believes that uh, everything is Christmas Eve. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, like, oh, so it's like they don't split it. They don't do like right. some Christmas. Well, the way we do it now is her family does Christmas Eve. We do everything Christmas Eve. Then my family. Well, that's because you got the extended. Day. But otherwise, right. it would yeah. just be all. No, they were pretty much. They were they were iffy on it. Like what we do with the kid, like with my daughter, we'll give her like maybe one or two gifts Christmas Eve, and then make her wait for the morning for the rest of them. Now, does she lose her shit? My daughter. Yeah. Well, she's still young. so okay. She's still grasping the concept of what it is. Mm. So. I remember having to go to my, my aunt and uncle's house for Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. Did you have to do the tour? No. Okay. And the cousins would... Wait, they, wait. I, what's the tour? The tour is like if you have, like you know, like you said, extended family where you have to go, okay, we have to go here on Christmas Eve. Yeah, oh, okay, my folks, okay, okay. You know, <laughs> I, I, yeah. I just kind of like was like, fuck you, Carrie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't interrupt my story. <laughs> no, luckily it was just them and us. We don't have anything of a family. But my cousins, they're such, like, spoiled kids. <laughs> I didn't want to like say yeah. rude there. They were so spoiled that they got to open their presents on Christmas Eve. And their parents had way more money than my parents had. So every Christmas Eve that we went there for Christmas dinner, they'd have all this cool shit and I'd just be thinking, You fucking guys suck. <laughs> you fucking hated on them so much. And then they would give you like gay ass Christmas presents. Like one year and and I don't even know why I got this. I think I was like twelve. My cousin got me uh Young MC cassette single. <laughs> it takes two for bust the, the move. Bust the move. It's like what the fuck? What the hell is that cassette single? That's fucking. <laughs> it's like that was. I was standing at Walgreens at yeah, the checkout like, counter buying some gum, <laughs> and I saw it. Right. That's what that was. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah, the last this? cassette single I, I ever guess. bought was Coolio. One, two, three, four. Remember that? I do. That was the last cassette single I ever got. I know I'm like totally jumping over, but uh, my worst Christmas ever, my uncle, my favorite uncle, when I was 26 years old, gave me a Christmas present. Man, never really gave me Christmas presents at all. It was a collector's edition of the of a certain mint of quarters. Four quarters, five quarters, sorry, <laughs> five quarters in this plastic case. And this motherfucker had the gall to tell me, and Uncle cracking this up and spending it. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm 26 years old. <laughs> Seriously? What did you fucking insult me, dude? Do you wow. still have the quarters? I do. Okay. Unopened. <laughs> you were scared. You got them. Sure. Your ass. You kept them mint, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could go out buy a Coke next, Sergeant. You'd be like, right. fuck, go home. Now, back to Tony. Mm. What was one gift... Did Damn, you? Tony's getting grilled. Yeah, he's new. Well, no, he's new. He's We're going to go around. It's initiation. Okay. Right. What's, no, it's not initiation. We're just going around the fucking circle. All right. All right. Why not? Don't question me. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what's the one thing that you've always wanted for Christmas and you're just like, if I could just get the one thing and then you never got? That's another tough one because it's like I basically got out of re- everything that I asked for. And I've always wanted really small things, you know? I That's don't probably know. why you got everything you asked for. Right. Like, you never I wanted the USS much. flag? <laughs> <laughs> well, the brothers are like, I want well, Nintendo, I want this. this. You know, I, don't that anger. I want a thumb wrestler. My little brother was always asking for, like, skateboards and, like, ramps. So, like, we'd go downstairs for Christmas morning and you'd see huge just towers of boxes and that's all my little brother stuff and then you see my brother who would ask for like DVDs action figures he's got a stack and then I asked for like these tiny whether it's like a little action figure or a statue like tiny tiny things so I'd be like searching through their giant things to find my things does that uh, make you feel less important? No, not really. Did you steal their shit? Did you like steal their shit? It wasn't mine. No, yeah, I didn't. Like, you never? No. I thought it was uh, when they got like, you know, because I was a little kid, when they got a lot more stuff than I did, I would feel like, oh man, like Santa likes them more than me. Or, well, like, he I did. wasn't a good kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <obviously. laughs> how, did your, how did your parents do this? Like, did they be like, okay, he's getting 10 gifts, he's getting 10 gifts, he's getting 10, or did they do it by money, or they were just like, whatever? Was um, there a specific, specific we, thing that they the did? Christmas list that we made were like 
we we kept it to a certain number, so it'd be like ten, like 10 or, things. Yeah, so we'd all do that, but mine were so small. And sometimes one of my brothers would just straight up ask for more things because they're greedy. I was gonna say you weren't thinking big is what ended up happening. That you just, too. You, you just said I never <laughs> asked for much, you know. So uh, the thing that I would have wanted but never got was probably like lost in this list of little tiny things, and I wouldn't even have thought about it on Christmas Day. I'm a simple man. I was a simple child. Okay. Plush, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> let's, move yeah. let's move over to you, John. Oh, God. Johnny Freeze? <laughs> Johnny Paps. On the hot seat. I like Johnny uh, Paps. You should actually introduce yourself on the podcast like that. Honestly. Johnny, pa- right. Johnny Paps. Johnny Paps. You always want to be a character. Don't be Johnny Freeze. Just be Johnny okay. Paps. Johnny Paps from now on. Okay. Why Something new? Just takes it. Okay. Uh, my fondest Christmas memory. This motherfucker taking the lead. I didn't even ask him a question yet. You, you <laughs> moved right to me. I'm sorry. I just have to go back. If anyone didn't catch that, he just called me Paps. <laughs> Believe me, I've been called it before, so I really just don't give a crap about it anymore. Nice, you're just, you're totally... He's, it's over. He's over. He's over. Right. Unless Sanchez says it, and then I'll just roundhouse yeah. him. But, uh... Damn, hey, you're Mark. lucky he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> Fondest Christmas memory? Probably waking up at midnight... And this was like when I was really young, and all I wanted was the classic Power Rangers Megazord. That's all I wanted. Wasn't there. And I was like, man, it's like Santa didn't get me it, man. Santa, Santa doesn't like me. <laughs> you know, and then I fell asleep by the tree, woke up the next, you know, woke up the morning, parents come by, okay, guys, time to open your presents. We open all of them, and I noticed behind the trees was a giant fucking box. And I was like, what the hell is this? And like, that's for you. I think Santa left it. Okay, I open it up and it's it was the movie Megazord. And that's when like it was like the Ninja Zords and whatnot. And I was like, that's so freaking cool! I'm going crazy, you know. I'm bouncing off the walls, and then as that day ended and I was holding that thing in my hands, I was just kind of like, it's still not the classic. <laughs> <laughs> but I was still so happy. It was, so it was, it was a big so switch, right? Yeah, I was, I was still so happy that I had it. And like in retrospect now, I'm like, my parents were clever. They shut me up by getting one of the other ones. Now, did you ever stop and wa- ask yourself why you never got that one? You ever thought about it? Never made. They never made it anymore. By exactly. The, yeah. By the time. Yeah. By the time that I was asking for it, the thing was already gone. Yeah. So never Power asked for it. Debuted what ninety three. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Ninety three. You didn't come around on ninety five. Yeah. So by the time you were old enough to actually ask for it, that shit was long gone. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm a jag. I asked my parents later on once I was an adult. I was like, why didn't you give me this? <laughs> That too, and eBay wasn't around in, in that yeah, time. Wasn't eBay around. didn't start until yeah. 99. So it's not like your parents could have been like. I'm just a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm in the right now. I mean, uh, and the worst Christmas memory is uh, every Christmas I didn't get that Megazord. <laughs> I mean, because for me, I think it's still my parents playing that ploy because they still know that I want it. And I still want the original one. So, so every so every Christmas, you know, I get what I want and I play with it. And then before I'm about to go to bed, I'm like, fuck, I still didn't get that Megazord. So why so, don't you do one different? Why don't you save a couple bucks, get that fucking Megazord, wrap it up, put it under the tree, and be like, holy shit, I got it for myself. Because it won't have the same meaning. <sighs> you still want it, don't you? Yeah. Then? But I want it to You just want to pay for it. I want so <laughs> I want it to have some meaning where when I wake up in the morning on Christmas Day, it'll just be there and I'll be like <gasps> and shed a tear. It's kinda like me. I still want the flag, but I ain't paying the fucking money for it. <laughs> See? Plus I ain't got nowhere to put it. If you had the money you'd pay for it. Uh, yeah. That's totally. the difference. Yeah. If I had the money I'd pay for two. One to take out and open and put together yeah. fucking. Which we've discussed, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Totally. In great length. Yeah, we have. Mm-hmm. There was a third question I asked, since you wanted to be all smart and fucking answer your own questions. What was the third one? Third yeah. Question. yeah. What did I? It was like your best memory, your worst memory, and the one thing you could have that you never want. I guess you answered both of them. In yeah. The yeah. It's, not, yeah. It's all about the Megazord. For yeah. John. Apparently, you know, Quake has it, right? Thanks for telling me this now. I told you this months ago. So I don't remember like, it. For like ten years, <coughs> you've just been disappointed in not having. Because it was a suck for ten years. You know, like, for me, it's one of those things where <laughs> all... motherfucker. I'm happy with all this, but it's not what I wanted, so I'm not For happy. all of Christmas, it's, like, a giant really? distraction because I have what I want, but then it's, like, that sad realization at the end of the day when, like, it's 12.01, December 26th. I'm like, crap. Now, does that make you a dick, though? Me and you have had this discussion before, I know we have, about telling people what you want. 
like I specifically want get me this. See, so I have to with with my with my folks. It's <clears throat> it's because otherwise you get like, oh, here's your gift card, and you basically exchange gift cards. Unless mm, for me, right, you right, say right. specifically, yeah. okay, here's a list of stuff. Pick something from there. Otherwise, it's just exchanging. Well, thank you, John. Money. Let's move on over to. Hey, Sorry, you guys. I'm just saying. I'm happy enough. Ever since I got that Megazord, I've never asked my parents ever, ever since. Well, do you? Anyone. Well, maybe that's a problem. Maybe you should keep asking. I was going to say, do you make? I mean, for your family, do you guys do a list? You go, okay, Christmas. Oh is yeah. This. Well, I mean, my mom so. always tells me she's like, she's like, because I'm per, I'm the kid that always wants like everything. She's like, number it one through twenty. Megazord, <laughs> over it quick. Right. So you gotta like put a. That'd be hard to do. If I did, that. if I did, you know what my mom would do. She'd go to like Target or whatever, and she'd be like, "Okay, yeah, I'm looking for a Megazord," and they'll just be like, "There you go." Well, <clears throat> all right, I guess I can tell you. Toys R Us putting the Legacy Megazord on clearance for half the price, so, so like 30. thirty bucks. I know where I'm going. Jesus Christ! It was only sixty bucks. What the fuck? At least you ain't like me, where it's like thirty years later. And a flag is like a <laughs> gun, you know. So, tell us the story, Brian. No, it's, it's, you know, been there, done that. Yeah. We're, I believe we're moving on to you. Oh, okay. Uh, best Christmas. I gotta say, you know what? Because of all the retro stuff, I gotta say the Shogun Warriors. Man, they used to uh, mm-hmm. ever. I don't. I don't remember the advertisement. No, you sent me one. But they they used to have the ever. And the, for people who don't know what the Shogun Warriors are, they are these giant monstrosity action figures. So what? Probably about a foot tall. About foot, two I'd foot. Say almost 18. And they were kind of, you know, these uh, Japanese robot things, and they just shot missiles and everything that they won't let. Their hands. Yeah, or whatever, whatever things they had. A very destructive toy. Yeah. That uh, do they still have stuff like that now, or is everything childproof where you can't? Uh, no, they they do have some shit like that. So yeah, no no child safety. <laughs> so a couple of those bad boys, and you know. Just use them to stomp all your other action figures or Legos or whatever. They were they were freaking awesome. So, so those are mine. And then, worst uh, Christmas. You know, I'm trying to think of the worst. Other than st- I guess just spending time with my family. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no because because you know it, it's one of those Thanksgiving is the prequel to like the main fight on Christmas. It's just uh, the way it is. So, um, yeah, we used to go to my grandparents, and that was great because my grandparents were really cool and was a good dinner and stuff. And then, you know, after that, it's like, well, now you're back to reality you're doing with your parents and, you know, mom's bad cooking and <laughs> right, everything right. else. So, um, you know, Christmas in general was, was pretty good. I can't think of anything specific that I, like, asked for and didn't get, at least mm. at the top of my head. I'm sure there was a, were a couple of things that, you know, either they couldn't now, be afforded I'm or... I'm just going to throw this into the ether because yeah. I'm positive no one my family listens to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was never disappointed. I was disappointed that I didn't get that, but what I got I was always satisfied with. It right. was never mm. like John where I hey. was like, at the end of the day I was like, fuck, you know? Right. Hey, I never said I was still, nev- I never said I was still unsatisfied with what I got. It's just oh, it was no, a reali- no, no, no. it was just a realization. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now hey, and I'm, I know, hey, see, I didn't even have the realization. And I'm not damning my parents for like they never got me. Yes, he is. He's like, he's like John's not going to do podcasts anymore. John, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not damning my parents. It's just you know he's afraid his mom might listen. Yeah, she, she might. Like she no, might no. If my mom would listen, she'd just be like, "Why the fuck didn't you tell me this?" She'd be like, "Why are you hanging around with those vulgar? <laughs> <laughs> why were you? Yeah. There's a reason why we don't let you hang with them." <laughs> So, yeah, I got to go with the Shogun Warriors, and um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, if you still have your childhood toys or things that you held on to. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of my stuff got uh, got thrown away in a purge by my parents, so uh, I had to go yeah. back and repurchase my childhood memories because they were, like, so gone in a night. Was there, was there anything that you wanted and didn't get? I'm trying to think at the top. I, I can't think of anything. I, I'm pretty sure I got most of the things I wanted. Uh, maybe because I think at the time... Maybe a couple Migos, mm-hmm. because there were so many of them, and sometimes your parents don't listen. They just think, hey, you know, this is this, and, you know, get something similar. I don't know. You know, like you those know. memes where it's got uh, Cat Picard, and he's like, why the f-? And he's, Yeah. And it's got, like, so, all the yeah, Wii and Xbox, and he's just like, my mom's still just kind of call it Nintendo anyway. Yeah, so I can't <laughs> think of anything off the top of my head that I didn't get. Like I said, I got most of the stuff. It was just, mm-hmm. you know, dealing with the whole oh, family dynamic. I feel like that tells you what kind of people are the type of person to hold a grudge. You know what I mean? Like the people that don't really think about the kind of stuff that they didn't get for Christmas versus the people that are like so focused. But, and they but the exact no, but you, but you know what? It, I think the 
something like that though. If it's so specific, you're like, yo, you want it, you want, you'll remember, mm-hmm. you'll remember, yeah. yo. Like Dude. if I didn't get that Shogun <laughs> Warrior, believe me, I probably years years later, I'd be like. I didn't get that goddamn Shogun Warrior. You know? He would have been pumping Seven iron. He would just be like, I didn't get it. My birthday is 24 days before Christmas. Mm-hmm. I specifically said, this is all I want. Birthday Christmas flag. That's it. That's pretty, that is a little so different a little, of a situation. And it's not really like I like see my parents and think about the flag and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> you do. You know? Not getting me the flag <laughs> made me who I am today. <laughs> it is. And especially when my dad was like, we saw a knockoff one that thought, okay, but it was still expensive. And then when I was watching that show and found they were a hundred bucks, I got even more angry about it. So I was like, well, fuck, if the real thing was only a hundred dollars, how much was a cheap knockoff? Jesus fucking Christ. What did you get for Christmas instead of the flag? You know what? I don't remember. A piece of plywood. Here, use your imagination. What's fucked up is that I don't remember what I got that Christmas. You know what? I actually think that makes sense, though, because you asked for one thing. Yeah, like, one I, thing. I think in my brain hey. it's just blacked off. I don't even know, you know what year it was. You know I what you got? Know. You got yourself a realization right there. Yeah, totally. Now, did That's you ever awesome. get anything any Christmas that just stood out to you? Like, this is fucking great. Yeah, the year I won Castle Grayskull. Okay. And I got the Tower of Doom instead. Now, do you still have this stuff? No, but I, I would really like to get one. Like, after me and him did the podcast where I originally... Well, what explain what it was. Stuff. You explained to me earlier exactly well, it's, what it's, it was. There was. In the 80s, they had a Secret Wars line of Marvel toys. And the Tower of Doom was just like Doctor Doom's base. And, uh... I mean, I've been into comic books since I was little, probably like five, four. My grandpa was World War II vet. I think he was big into comic books. So I had like a Red Rider wagon, like full of comic books when I was a little kid. And uh, I think my mom, knowing that I like comic books, and at the time, knowing they couldn't afford Grayskull, or she might not be able to find it. See, this isn't as harsh of a memory as Flag. There's not as much <laughs> animosity there. I remember waking up thinking, man, Grayskull, Grayskull, and seeing that Tower of Doom and all the Secret Wars figures just. Pfft, Grayskull, what? Mm. I still could give a fuck, Grayskull. Mm. Now I want to mm. acquire a Tower of Doom. Nice. If I can find one that doesn't have Mexican right now. <laughs> <laughs> easy to find. Every one I've seen on e- eBay has got like French or Spanish on it. I can it. find you an American one. Yeah. No problem. Mint yeah. in a sealed box. Sweet. And you, you, you heard it, it here. Right in front of him. Right in front of him. Watch the tears. Right. I would, I would do it too. I'd be like, eh. Doesn't bother <laughs> me. Yeah, he wouldn't give a shit. It's not his. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> All right. Fire it up, Junior. Oh, we were done with everybody else? That yeah, was fast. Made the that was kind of fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where we're on point. Well, yeah, man, we're, so. we're definitely glad we started with me because you guys have uh, much more entertaining stories than mine. <laughs> you're, you're young. Just wait. Just wait. You'll get you'll get you'll get you get to the bear like the rest of us, probably. Just wait. Um, I'm almost in the same boat as uh, Tony here. I never really had a bad Christmas where I was like, "Crap, I didn't get what I asked for." Blah blah blah. Um, I almost had a similar situation well, I did have a similar situation where I asked for one thing got something else that totally made up for it um, yeah so like I said there was really no bad Christmas per se every Christmas it seemed like I was into a different kind of uh, action figure line so I always got a few figures and I always got a vehicle or something to go with it you know like the earliest Christmas I can remember where that started was 80 89 I, and the only reason I remember is because we have it on fucking VHS. You know, my dad got a video camera back then. If you had a video camera, you were the shit. Right. You know, and you wanted to record everything. It was like having a VCR in like '84. It's like, Ooh, yeah, a VCR. <laughs> so um, I got Ecto One, Peter Venkman, and Winston. And I was like, "What? No Egon and Ray?" And they're like, "Well, we got you the black guy because." <laughs> He's, they were trying Very to teach close. me about yeah. They're like, well, you're Puerto Rican, you're different. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it was one of those things. Oh, was awesome. was okay. Uh, I mean, it wasn't exactly explained that way. I'm being nice. <laughs> My dad is very old school cool, country man. Puerto Rican, so mm-hmm. he'll just come out and just be like el pinche negro. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so it was that, and then like I said, every. It is the only year I got uh, Ghostbusters because then af- every year after that, for like the next maybe five to ten years, was all Ninja Turtles, all turtles, mm. all turtles, with maybe one or two things thrown in between. But I was just like, oh, that's cool. So what was your worst turtles. Christmas? 
The year he didn't get his techno drum. No, no. <laughs> there was actually one Christmas, and again, this one is on video. It was the year he got answered by Uncle Chewie. <laughs> 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 it didn't happen on Christmas. <laughs> I didn't have a fucking Uncle Chewie. <laughs> Those are Mexicans, man, not Puerto Ricans. <laughs> uh, no. One of the worst Christmases, which actually happens to be on video as well. For some fucking reason. Show more tears. We got to uh, we got to do everything Christmas Eve for that that year. I don't I don't remember why because my parents were always big on wait till Christmas Day. Um, I was dressed up. It was weird. I had like you know, I had my black slacks. I had a fucking blue button up T shirt, which was like two sizes too small for my little fat ass. I had a horrible fucking haircut. I had a mullet with like a huge flat tie. It was anyway. She didn't have a rat tail. This was terrible. <laughs> I never um, had one of those. My little brother did. I always wanted to just. But no, I don't. I don't understand. As a matter of fact, I think after discussing this now, I'm gonna go tomorrow morning and ask my mom about it. Yeah. Um, because like That's every awesome. year we were getting like you know the prime shit, me and my sister, because it was just us two. My parents were making good money. Um, but that year I got, well, besides pajamas, but they were cool, they were like Nintendo pajamas, you know, the characters, so I was like, whatever. I got a fucking Webster's Dictionary, I shit you not. Wow, <laughs> that sucks. And I got a bunch of dollar store toys, like the guns with the fucking plastic oh, bullets really? and shit. Oh, oh, God. And that was it. What are they trying to tell you? I had no Webster's idea where that, dictionary. but you know what? If you watch me on this video, I was excited for everything. I don't know what the mm. fuck was going on with me at that <laughs> point. I was like, we're into it. Yeah, I was. I was just like, I, I want now. I want to go home and ask my mom, like, yo, pop in the tape and be like, explain this. Explain <laughs> the back. You want to explain the dictionary yeah. so he can look up all the words and just be like, why in the ass <laughs> now did you give me that? <laughs> and then just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows, man? Maybe that was the lesson they're trying to teach you. I don't know. <laughs> that's a priceless look <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, no I'd probably say that's the worst one only gift wise because I had no idea like like why you know mm. now um, do you still have any of your toys that you had from are you seriously you? asking well, me that I don't know if you've had to track them down like I have over the years or if you actually still had them are you seriously that's asking right? me that I still have my original Ghostbusters firehouse. I still have my Peter Venkman. I still have my Winston. Now, obviously, with all the accessories and shit. My Ecto-1 has been painted black with a big red X on the hood because the X-Men needed a car. Nice. They didn't have a vehicle, and my parents never got me the Blackbird because probably I didn't know that the Blackbird was actually even made. I own it now, but... Um, no, that was just... That was probably uh, the weirdest fucking Christmas I ever had. Like, pajamas <laughs> and a dictionary. Hell yeah. All right, so we're coming up towards you know the end what? here. Before we end it, I'd actually like oh, to end don't, my It own. doesn't add just because of that, man. Keep <laughs> going. Keep yeah, going, I'll, I'll do that like five times. So do you want to and then do a part two? I mean, it's Christmas special. We can spread it out. Talk about whatever, man. A week or two, you know? I could put it on the same day. It's not like anything's going to be out in December. Whatever. Well, you want to end it? You want to wrap it up? If we do a part, part two, two, then we can do what we because want. Because you said you, you, you can't really Christmas. upload it if it's more than a half hour, right? Yeah, no. I have to so then you have to cut it. It sounds like shit. So then cut well, it how in. long is it now? It's worth 27 minutes. So, so we should worse. probably just... I can probably I can tell this pretty fast. That's fine. We'll no rush. Just wrap it up. Yeah, just, we'll go to part two. All right. You know, so we're going to cut a little break here on the Christmas special. Join us back here for the second part, which will be posted right now.